people are saying that we are we are ex-Muslims and uh, you know, but I, I I still cannot believe someone leaving leaving Islam. Okay, it's too much, man. You have to understand this. Too much. I can't do it. I'm a coward. Okay, call me a coward. Call me whatever you want. I can't do it. I hope you understand. Okay. Uh, you want me to deny my God? You want me to just relinquish my religion like that? I can't. I'm sorry. I made a promise. But here I am. I'm, I'm saying I cannot make that. Okay? I hope you understand, man. Okay. Um... um I know, you know, we we when we learn something, um, you know, Tep, I hear you crying. I heard you crying. I understand. You see Axel? Do you see him? Axel, are you an ex-Muslim? Tell him, please. Are you from Morocco? Speak to him in Morocco, please. And tell him how you left Islam yourself. He said it's very hard, extremely hard, and nobody can do it. Tell him, why a Moroccan guy like you did leave Islam? You're mine. Thank you, bro. Uh, you know that, uh, for example, for me, it took me a while. It took me a while, you know. It wasn't like a minute or an hour. Well, in first, you are scared, so what you do, you research more and more and more. But there is a time you just cannot take it. And the thing with me is that I used to, I, I mean, I used to believe a lot. It means uh, Ramadan, Mshul Taraweeh, and Salleu, and Fajr, Al-Isha, Shafi'a, al and so on. Pray everything, the Quran, and so on, and so on. So it's even harder when it became part of your life. And yeah, you know what, it's an inner struggle. You believe you are fooled and it cannot be true. But the fact is, you are not lying to yourself or denouncing yourself. You are just reconciling yourself with the real you. Because simply, that what you believe may not be what Islam is about. Basically, that's what it is. Because if you know the real Islam, like this is, this is not even 1%. If you know the real Islam, you will not accept it for one second. And I'm sure uh, in, in the soon future you, you will be so uh, proud and you will be happy that you left Islam because this is, has nothing to do with you. The Islam you believe in is the Islam that they teach us in the school, in the family, and so on. You know, social uh, pressure, uh, family, tradition, and so on and so on. So, you know, I'm not going to push you, but it's very clear that you, you, you doubt Islam. So if you want to be true to yourself, you will find out, find out that everything that we say is true and we have no reason to lie to you. And you are not denying your God. You are denying uh, something that doesn't exist. You are denying a big lie. And like Prince said, a Satan, because someone who is deceiving you, he has to be a Satan. He, does, he, he wants you no good, trust me. Uh, you know, Prince, uh, I don't think we can really communicate in the in the Arabic that I speak and that he speaks, وإذا بدأت أتكلم العربية الفصحى فسوف تضحكون عليه لأن هي لغة مضحكة فعلا. Anyways, uh, the mic is yours, bro, and that uh, congratulations again. Okay, excellent. No, just I want to show him that you know that this is true. You know, people they are leaving Islam left and right. And you're not the first one, I'm not the last one. You know, there's smart people everywhere. And you just yourself, Tep, you're out of Islam already. Just you don't want to see it. You don't want to say it in the front of all, correct guys? He's out of Islam already, so what is, what is left to say I'm out? 
it's up to you. If you don't want to say I'm out, you are out. You are out. I'm telling you, you are out. I, uh, I, I heard, I heard you crying. You want to do it, and you are out. And happy birthday for you, Tip, guys. Everybody, give him a rose. He deserve it. And his tears is a proof of his honesty. And that he is a person who is looking for the truth. And as Christ, he said, the truth will set you free. No man, no one, nothing will set you free as the truth. The truth. Look for it always. And any time, Tip, you have questions about my Lord, you are more than welcome to ask and to learn. And you will see, nobody can fill up your heart except the name, it's called Jesus Christ. I'm not going to put a pressure on you, because we aren't here to pressure you. We aren't here to save you, and we don't hate you, man. We love you as we love all the Muslims. We just feel sorry for everyone to believe in such a deceiving religion. And when you say, as Axel, he said, you are denying God, you are not denying God. You are denying Satan. You are doing the best thing ever in your life. This is not God. God is promising you 72 horny women, as you see, 300 boys. You yourself, you said, this is ridiculous. You cannot accept it no more. Anyway, we will not put more pressure on you. Welcome in the room, Tip. If you feel you want to talk, let me know. And I'm happy that the Lord, he answered our prayer. Guys, do you remember what I said when I opened the room today? Let us pray to the Lord that the Lord, he will send us somebody today, he will leave Islam. Did I say that? And he was the first to come to the mic. He was the first who come to the mic today. Uh, New Testament, the mic is yours.